Welcome to Electron Line. In this video, we're going to show you the relationship between this angle right here, theta, and the phase difference when the two waves come together at some point along the screen here. So what we're going to do here is go back to our understanding that the phase difference is equal to the path length difference divided by the wavelength times 2 pi. This simply becomes a fraction. It'll be a fraction of 2 pi, 2 pi being, of course, a complete phase, or 360 degrees. So what we're going to do now is replace the extra distance traveled, x2 minus x1, by d sine theta. When you look at this video, you can see that here is the slit distance, d, between the two slits. The distance to the screen is l, and the point of interest is distance y directly across from where the two slits are. And that point is at an angle theta above the horizontal. Again, remember that these two waves are very, very close together because the slit distance is very tiny, so theta to the bottom wave and theta to the top wave is basically the same thing. It's, um, you can say that these are so close together that it's sing simply a single uh, angle because those two lines are parallel to each other. So the exit distance travel is equal to the slit distance times the sine of theta. Remember, if you look at this triangle right here, that's a right angle triangle. The extra distance here is opposite to the angle. This is the hypotenuse. So the extra distance traveled equals the hypotenuse, d, times the sine of theta, which is the opposite side. That's how much farther the bottom wave has to travel compared to the top wave. And then you want to find out is what fraction of a phase, what fraction of a complete wavelength is that? So the, the way to find that is it's simply the extra distance traveled divided by the wavelength, which is usually a fraction of a wavelength, or maybe 1.3 or 1.5, maybe 1 plus a fraction of a wavelength times 2 pi. And since extra distance traveled equals d sine theta, according to the geometry, you can write that the phase angle, phi, is equal to d sine theta divided by lambda times 2 pi. Now, we can also write that as d sine theta divided by lambda times 360 degrees. Before we do that, though, I want to write this in terms of phi over 2. The reason is because we have the equation of the intensity in terms of phi over 2, the phase angle divided by 2. So we can write that the phase angle divided by 2 is therefore equal to d sine theta divided by 2 lambda times 2 pi. And that would be the relationship that we're looking for between phi and theta. Now, you can also, in, in case you like to work with with degrees rather than radians, you can also write the equation as phi divided by 2 is equal to d sine theta divided by 2 times the wavelength, all times 360 degrees. So then if you do this, you'll have phi divided by 2 in terms of degrees instead of radians. So then all you have to do is find out what the slit distance is, d, find out what the angle is, theta, find out what the wavelength is, and then multiply times times 360, and that goes into this equation right here so you can find the intensity. And that's how you find the relationship between theta and phi, and that's how you can then express phi in terms of theta. Plug it into this equation, so if you don't know phi, you don't know what the, the, um, the phase difference is, but you do know what the angle is, you know what d is, you know what the wavelength is, then you can use that to find the intensity at any point along the screen as a function of theta rather than as a function of phi. And that's very handy to know. So now you have two options. If you know what the extra distance is, you can use this equation right away by realizing the phase difference is defined as the extra distance. If you don't know what the extra distance is, but you do know what the angle is, you do know what the slit distance is, and you know what the, um, let's see here, and the wavelength, of course, you still need to know the wavelength in order to figure that out. Then you can find the phase difference in terms of theta and plug that in there and then get the intensity. And that's how we do that. Now, in the next video, I will show you the relationship between this equation and the equation that determines the intensity. And then we'll go ahead and show you some examples to hopefully clarify this whole thing. And you'll be able to figure out the intensity anywhere along the screen with a double slit interference pattern. And then we're successful in getting a handle on this.